Hello, Governor. Welcome to our English-themed episode of Friday Night Drinks. My name is Ashley McPherson. Thank you for joining us once again. Yes, England. The Union Jack Spangled Banner, we salute you. And tonight, in special tribute, the questions will be all about the great land of cricket, Big Ben, tea and scones, double-decker buses, Mr Bean, Harry Potter, whinging palms, crappy weather, Sir David Attenborough, faulty towers, flying nannies, and note to self, insert another well-known English stereotype here. Uh, yes, uh, body line, how about that? Joining us for our English exhibition, we have our epic team captains, as always, Stephanie Everson-Williams and Joey Philpott. Steph, mm. have you been to England? I have. I'm, I'm well... I have a passport to the country. Really? Yeah. What's that all about? Well, my dad is from England, ah. and my grandpa and my my dad's side. So I get I have a European passport, so uh. I can call myself British. So, Joey. I'm Romanian. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like you might be up against an epic challenger tonight. Yeah, definitely, mate. I've, I've never been to England. I don't have a passport. I uh, do follow the soccer, though. Ooh, Steph, um, you might have one on you there. Yeah, no, I definitely don't follow <laughs> the soccer. Sport theme sure. questions, Team Red might have an advantage. Mm. All right, joining, it, uh, joining us tonight, we have our two amazing guests. We have Caleb Lowry on Team Green and on the red team, Rob Fisher. Now, Caleb, I can't help but notice you've got a bit of a Beatles t-shirt there. You know, yeah. is, that, is that running with the British theme? Uh, well, I woke up this morning and I figured I have no idea what I'm doing, so <laughs> I might as well look the part. Yeah. Oh, that's about as much thought of process I've had with it today. do that every day, yeah. no matter if we're here or not. Just dress to look the part. It's good. Yeah. It's a good way to be. Rob, what were your first thoughts when you woke up this morning? Optimism? Um, get here. Yeah. Get here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much well. That was my thought. Wake up on time and get here with an open mind. Tick? Yeah. <laughs> OK, now we're going to have to have something to wet our whistles. Barkeep, what have we got on the menu tonight, good sir? My good fellow, we have a fantastic drink I have put together for you today. It's called the Big Ben. Oh, how appropriate. Very appropriate. Is it big? It's quite big. Oh, it's in a tall glass. It is big. What goes into this one? Delicious. Oh, well, nice. quite, quite a simple beverage. Thank you. Uh, we have our peach schnapps and lemonade. Peach, peach schnapps and lemonade. Nice peach and simple. Peach schnapps and lemonade, yes. Oh, well, if you, if you would like That's to see the... guys. Yeah, it looks like it could just... This one, once could. Again. Could be mistaken just for lemonade. That'd be a dangerous thing to have lying around at a party where there are children present. <laughs> Always drink responsibly. Now, if you want to catch the clip of Matthew and his lovely assistant Veronica, of course, mixing together tonight's drink, head to our YouTube page, youtube.com slash Friday Night Drinks TV. If you want to see us sitting around and asking questions and answers and uh, having a good time, then continue doing exactly what you're doing. You guys ready? Yeah. This is good. God save the Queen. Mm. <laughs> the awesome Big Ben. All right, we're going to open up with a bit of basic Q&A. You guys ready? I'm going to ask a question. Let's hear the answers, if you can. Name the rom-com Alan Rickman stars in as a married man who is attracted to his secretary. I believe the Greens got in there first. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, OK, cool. Yeah, no, we don't know. <laughs> I, know. I just yeah. pressed it. Cool. She just pressed it, the Reds. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Love Actually. It is indeed Love Actually, Alan Rickman and about a million other people in that film. OK. The song, Do You Think I'm Sexy, is written and... Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart, indeed, is written and performed by Rod Stewart. Oh, girl. The bar staff, Veronica, on the board. <laughs> Miranda Kerr is married to which English actor? The bar got that one too. Orlando Bloom. It is indeed Orlando Bloom. Well done to oh, you, Matthew. Which song awarded Amy Wine which song earned Amy Winehouse three Grammy Awards? That was the bar staff again. Uh, going back to rehab. Uh, rehab indeed, yes. We got the word rehab, I think that was the but... rehab. No, 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 no. Oh, I hope we can cut <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we're live? Oh, sorry, bad luck, Matt. Damn. Here's the next one. Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman star in which Sherlock Holmes. Uh, Sh I'll Sherlock. Keep, yeah, it is Sherlock. It is indeed Sherlock, yes. He, he, they do star in the TV series mm -hmm. Sherlock. Do It Like a Dude is which English singer-songwriter's debut single? Does anyone want to give that one a crack? Uh, what are you doing there? You're I like just... you're like a soothsayer with a crystal ball. Nobody wants to have a go. No, that is in fact... Oh, yes, we do have a, an answer from the bar. George Michael? Not George, not George <laughs> Michael. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, he's big with the un PC. You tonight. said have a go at anything. It was Jesse wow. J. Yeah, have a go. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. <laughs> on that note, let's move on to guess that. In this game, I'll be giving you some vague and very, very obscure descriptions of popular British films. It's up to you to figure out which ones I'm referring to. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. And I warn you, they are quite uh, they are quite vague out of left field. 
An Aussie helps a pom get over his issues with public speaking. Greens. The King's Speech. The King's Speech indeed, nicely done. When a father loses everything, he and some other men decide to strip off for a bit. Oh, who was that one? I'm going to have to go with the Reds. It was the Reds. Uh, full Monty. The Full Monty, and they did indeed do that thing. Irrefutable evidence that babies and drug use do not mix. Yes, you need the bar. Um, oh, it's uh, with Euron McGregor in it. Yes, um, I'm going to need the title, and unfortunately. it is um, uh, tra tra train spotting. Train spotting, yes. indeed. The bar staff are doing well tonight. A young girl and her brothers run off to join a gang of kids that spend most of their day hassling adults. And playing with fairies. Greens. Playing with fairies? Yeah. Bit yeah. of that. I was going to say, like, back, like um, now and then, Babysitter's Club, that, that young girl and her friends. Now and then, mm. Babysitter's Club. No, no. Actually, you're completely wrong. OK. Fairies. And uh, never growing up. Mm. Oh, that was the daft staff. Peter Pan. Peter Pan, indeed. Well done. So that is it for the uh, Guess That segment. We are on to Odd One Out now. Mm. One more round before we check those scores, which should be very interesting. Who is the Odd One I Out out of the following well. names? OK. OK. Stephen Fry, Hugh Laurie, Eric Idle, Rowan Atkinson. Who was that? That was the Reds. Uh, is it Eric Idle because he's a singer? It is Eric Idle, so I'll give you that one. It was actually because he was not on Black Adder. Oh. Yeah. But, um, yes, he, he, that as well. Why not? Odd one out. Carry on Columbus, carry on camping, carry on nurse, and carry on Cleo. What? Green. Carry on Cleo. It is not carry on Cleo. Anyone else? Reds want to crack? Uh, we'll go carry on Columbus. Indeed. Can you tell me why? Uh, no, I cannot. No, Just well... Is it because it wasn't a carry on episode? Uh, well, it, it was, however, it was the only one which was not to star the original cast. Uh -huh. Mm. You got the answer though, which is the main thing. So, uh, shall we stand by for a bit of a score check? Oh dear, so the bar staff are in front at the moment. Oh, they have, have they won one yet? I'm not sure if they have. They're on five points, four points for the Reds, and uh, two points for the Greens. Now it's a question for our home audience. Which British Disney film has the fictitious island of Naboomboo? Find out the answer after this short break. You always want to take their glory away from them, don't you? <laughs> we come back after the break for more Friday Night Drinks. Hello, chaps. Welcome back to Friday Night Drinks. Before the break, I asked you, which British Disney film has the fictitious island of Naboomboo? Does anyone know that one? No. I do. No, I do. No. Yes, you buzzed in. Go on. Uh, it is a bed knobs and broomsticks. Bed knobs and broomsticks. Bed knobs yes, and you missed by one letter, unfortunately. Mm. <laughs> bed knobs. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Blast from the past. Let's get a look at those scores one more time. The reds are on four at the moment and the green are on two, but it's the bar staff in the lead at the moment uh, on uh, five points. Obviously haven't been yes, drinking are. enough yet. Doing all right. Okay, now our next round is Who Am I? Are you ready for this one? Yes. Okay, the more clues you need, the fewer points you will get for a correct answer. Here we go. Who am I? Everyone is talking about my auntie's bum. That was for eight points. Mm, yes, Greens? Uh, the Prince George. Uh, it, the new baby. The new baby, Prince George of Cambridge. He's got it. <gasps> nice. <laughs> no. no. He's been reading a lot of those gossip mags. And you will rocket the Greens back into the lead with that one. Yes! Oh, right. Nice now, this is an interesting one. Who am I? For eight points, I am a McDonald born in Scotland. For six points, after finding out another celebrity had the same name as me, I renamed myself after one of the Pet Shop Boys. For four points, before the London Olympic Games, many of my fans wished I would light the flame just as I did in the show I was on. For two points, to many, I am known as the tenth something. Was David that a buzz? Was, so yeah, that was a buzz. David Tennant. David Tennant. Yeah. David Tennant, indeed. Well done. <laughs> doctor, who doctor. came up? The best, best, doctor. best doctor. The only doctor. Mm -hmm. The only doctor. Who am I? For eight points, I was born in Zanzibar oh. and raised till my teens in India. Uh, Basta. Oh, I, 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 it's probably wrong, but I'm going to say Freddie Mercury. It is not wrong. It is Freddie Mercury. Oh, oh a big one for the bar staff. <laughs> People are scoring big. Yes, indeed. He was born in Zanzibar and, uh, yeah, went on to, to live in Britain later. Lead singer of Queen. Well done. Here we go. For eight points. I love a good snog. 
My list of kissees includes Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp, George Clooney and Hugh Grant. For six points, I have parodied the Harry Potter films and landed a role in one of them. For four points, I'm no saint, but I have been a vicar. Oh, oh, oh the bar staff want that one too. Oh. I know this. Oh, he knows it's it too. Jerry. It's on the tip of his tongue and the rest of his body. Got talent. Is it Jerry Hallowell? Not yeah. Jerry Hallowell. No, no, no. No, no, no. The first answer, who was next to us? The rest that were next on? Yeah. Dawn French. Dawn French, indeed, from the Vicar of Dibley. Very, very nice. Everyone got a piece of action in that round. We're going to have to move on to who tweeted that. Now, I'm going to read to you tweets. Tweets from Twitter, obviously, from British celebrities. And I want you to try and uh, guess which celebrity tweeted the following. Should I put on a British accent? That'd be fun. I hope I don't screw them up. <clears throat> hope you like my red outfit. I feel like that special K lady. Well, if she comfort ate and suffered with bloating. They may or may not sound like this. I have a very limited <laughs> accent, range. <laughs> accent range. Okay. Uh, no one? A British lady. Dawn I'm going to have to close the beating yeah, there. Say, Alan Carr. Alan Carr is oh. the correct answer. British comedian Alan Carr. Here we go. Sometimes I wish I had better things to do with my time than change nappies, cook dinner, watch shit telly, and respond to internet trolls. I tried to actually make that one sound a little bit like the person. Red. Was it, um, uh, what's his name? Jamie Oliver? It was not Jamie, Jamie Oliver. Was Greens? it uh, Russell Britt? Brand. Not Russell Brand, Brand, but I, I appreciate the fact that you thought I sounded like Russell Brand. Well, that, well, that was, yeah, that's <laughs> the bar staff, do you want to have a turn? Um, I'm thinking it's female. It is female, yeah, but I can't yeah. give you the point oh. for that one, I'm afraid. It's Lily Allen, Lily um, Rose Cooper, okay, aka so Lily that. Allen. Who tweeted the, the following? I am delighted that my new novel for adults is published today. Novel for adults being the clue. Green. Yeah. I was going to say J.K. Rowling. No. You, you yeah, should no, have no, said no. that because it's correct. Oh, oh, J.K. Oh, Rowling. Oh, yes, God. indeed. Oh, J.K. <laughs> don't, don't go with what your captain says. <laughs> <laughs> Who tweeted this? Got me thinking. I need to bring Scary Spice hair back. <laughs> Greens. Scary Spice was Mel B. Mel B. Mel, Mel B, B is correct, indeed. She was referring to herself. This one in a bogan accent, just for something different. Happy Mama's Day to all of us. This is my first one. Never been happier. Smiley face, XX. Was Red. it um, Wills and Kate Wills? Kate Middleton? No, no, it wasn't the Middletons, no. <laughs> good, good try, I'd though. I'd love it yeah. if she tweeted yeah. that. Yeah, that's <laughs> the <laughs> royal family. Yeah, yeah. Probably have to go through some. It, was, it was my bogan <laughs> accent that made him think of that, clearly. No one okay. else wants to have a crack I, at that I'm one? I'm going to guess it's another spice, spice Girl. Incorrect. Oh, OK, well then, never OK, mind. the <laughs> correct answer was Adele. Answer um. was Adele. We're going to have one more who tweeted that. OK, I'm going to try and make this one sound like the person. I thought X Factor would be fun this year with me and three girls. Green. Oh, me and three girls. Seal. That's seal? No. That's the voice. That's the I voice. tried to we sound like him that. and she thinks it was Seal. Um, Am I that bad? Oh, What's his name? Three, three seconds. Uh, 1.5 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to close it. Does anyone else want to have a crack? The, the bar staff wanted to buzz in? Um, this is probably wrong, but it's not Stephen Cowell, is it? Uh, yeah, wrong, wrong. Uh, because it's not Stephen. It's Simon. Oh, Simon, Simon Cowell. Cowell. Simon Cowell. Simon, come on, you, you knew who I was talking about. I knew who you were talking about, yeah, but unfortunately yeah, everyone knows Simon Cowell, uh, so I can't give you a point for that. So yes, so OK, <laughs> that's it for who tweeted that. This brings us to my favourite game, Just Two Seconds. You will hear two seconds of audio. Um, Tell me the name of the song. Tell me the name of the song. The artist, if you can. Here's the first one. Never mind, I'll find it. No. Adele, someone like you. <laughs> it was. I love the fact that when she's keen, she shouts the buzzer as well. <laughs> Here's the next one. <laughs> again, again, but I think that was the past stuff. No. You say it. Um, uh, got rehab. Rehab. Amy Winehouse. Yeah, that's right. I love Amy Winehouse. I think you. See, you work at the bar. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> He's the oh, reason why she needed rehab. Oh, she's quick. <laughs> oh, everyone's on the ball with their jokes tonight. I think you actually beat him with the vocal buzzer, but the actual buzzer he got you. Okay. Here's the next one. Oh, the greens got that one. Oh, yes. I, I've got nothing. I thought Good. you pressed it. I did. <laughs> was it me? Yeah, that was you. No idea. It's like using a Ouija board. Somehow it gets pressed. No, no idea. Does anyone else want to? Can we play it again? Yeah. Can we play that one more time? We can play it one more time. Oh, oh you've, no. you've already buzzed out of the game. I'm oh, sorry. Have, have we? You have. 
Mm. We can start calling. We're gonna we're gonna close that one. Melanie B. That was, uh, no, it was Lights Lights by Ellie Golding. Mm. Let's go. Let's go with another one. You should know this one. If in doubt, choose the spice. Look at the sky. Oh, red. Yeah, Coldplay, yellow. Yes, yeah, so it was only a matter of time before Coldplay yeah. came up. I was waiting for that one upstairs. Okay, here's another one. Stuck in her day. Greens. Ed Sheeran. Eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen, indeed. Team effort. Well done. Here's another one. Oh, that was the bar staff. Um, you, um, yeah. It's uh, uh, Florence and the Machine. Yeah, yeah. You've got the love. It certainly is. Well done to the bar staff here. This is good. Everyone's getting a piece of the action. Here's another one. <laughs> that was the Greens. Bulletproof, obviously. Something Thoreau. She's got the weirdest name. I know. Um, oh, what did you say? Something <laughs> Thoreau. Yeah. The Ro uh, I'll give it to you because it was bulletproof and I just asked for the title, but La Roe is the title. La Roe. Yeah. OK, that will do for the uh, Just Two Seconds round. The score at the moment, it is quite neck and neck. It is between the Greens and the Bar at the moment. They're having a bit of a face-off. 16 points, 15 points. The Reds are on nine. It is still anyone's game here at the moment, though, because there are lots and lots of true or false questions and uh, who knows what will happen. Another question for our audience. Which famous British TV show took a 16-year hiatus? The answer after this break. Please don't give any more chaps. Welcome back to Friday Night Drinks. I've just got to point out here that Joey here is, has eaten around the fruit in his glass. It's the only bit that's good for you, mate. It's like leaving your veggies on a plate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got your game. Put out. You want me to eat it? Oh, go on. Steph's been demolishing the pineapple oh, during the break. Everywhere. I'm making a mess. Okay. I'll just leave it there, actually. Okay. Hopefully you win the trophy. It'll give you somewhere to put your scraps. Uh, before the, bra the break, I asked you, our audience, what famous British TV show took a 16-year hiatus? May I have a guess? You may have a guess. I, I believe it's Doctor Who. It is indeed Doctor Who. Yes. It originally finished in 1989, and then they brought it back in, in 2005 for a revival. Year of my birth. Which Oh, how about 2005? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You look incredibly good for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the scores going into the next round. We have the red team on uh, nine points. The blues on the bar staff are on 15. The greens, 16. So it's a neck and neck battle between those two at the moment. It's now time for Finish the Lyric. I give our teams the beginning of well-known song lyrics and they have to finish them. Everyone ready? Testing your musical knowledge once again. We don't need no education. Greens. We don't need no education. I'll tell you where I was going to finish. I'll tell you where I was going to finish. We don't need no thought control, no dark sarcasm in the classroom. Teachers, leave those kids teacher, alone. Yeah. Done. Uh, hey, teacher, leave them kids alone. Pink Floyd, another brick in the wall. Very good. Today is going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. That was the Reds. And by now, you should have somehow realised what you like to do. Absolutely. Oasis Wonderwall. Yeah, should have sung it. <laughs> you should have done, indeed. That would have been a highlight of my life. <laughs> Moving on now to the true or false round. 50% chance of getting it right, guys. This is Reds. This is your chance to get back in with some quick points. Them's good odds. <laughs> true or false? British filmmaker Christopher Nolan is the director, producer and writer... Reds? True? True. Uh, the answer is false. I was going to say of all three films in the Batman trilogy, but it's false because uh, he didn't produce the first one. He did everything else, but uh, I like to be a bit sneaky with that the true or falses. <sighs> true or false, British novelist J.K. Rowling came up with the idea of the Dementors when she was diagnosed with depression. Greens. True. That is, uh, that is true indeed. Um, after leaving her ex-husband behind, she took her daughter and moved closer to her sister. That was where she wrote the first one. Okay. True or false? Yeah, way to turn a negative into a positive. True or false? Period drama Downton Abbey has had the most nominations of any international TV series. That was the bar staff? That's true. It is true. They had a total of 27 nominations after two seasons. Wow. Must be pretty good. It, it must be. Must be. Can't say I've ever watched it. OK. <laughs> Prince Charles of Wales is the longest serving heir apparent in British history. True or false? Bar staff? True. Uh, true, yes, he has held the position since 1952. Poor guy. Yeah, he's never going to be king. Oh, poor, poor bloke. <laughs> Everyone's rooting for the Prince George now. The Rolling Stones were first created when Mick Jagger and Brian Jones met in their childhood. That was the Reds. True. Uh, false. Oh. Mick Jagger and Keith Richards were childhood friends. They played their first gig in 1962 at the Marquee Club. 
Trivia or false? Emily Bronte wrote under the pen name Alice Bell. Reds. False. True. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Reds. Uh, still having fun? Wanting to be taken seriously as a writer, Emily chose the male name Alice. True yep. or false? Mr. Bean's most spoken words at once were in the 1997 film, Bean. It's true. Uh, it was indeed true. His speech about the painting Whistler's mother. More than 200 words, which is probably more than he ever spoke in the entire series. Well done to the bar staff. It's now time for our lightning round. So there's still a possibility to get some extra points on the board. Here we go. The Chronicles of Narnia included... Oh, beg your pardon, beg your pardon. I'm sorry. I uh, had the wrong card up. Oops. Oh, <laughs> live TV. Live what are you going to do? Name all four men of the Beatles. Oh. Yes, true or false? George Come Harrison. On. Ringo Starr, Paul McCartney, and John Lennon. Absolutely, that one was true. Very, very good. Who plays the 11th Doctor Who? Greens. Matt Smith. Matt Smith, indeed. Very good. Name the author best known for his spy novel series. Reds. Oh, I slipped on the buzzer. I Go have on. no idea. It's, uh... Go on. No, I might as well pass it over. I can't remember. Pass it off. Ian Fleming. Ian ah, Fleming for James yes. Bond. Very, very good. Which actor of the sitcom The Inbetweeners is the narrator of the ah. story? Uh, uh, oh, Greens. Oh. You're the one who was going oh, crazy. Okay, over? hang on. Oh, uh, one more time, the question, please. Who is the narrator? Which actor is the narrator Where's for the Inbetweeners? Ah, uh, I don't know the name. I hate the Inbetweeners, but two, I know the narrator, one. and I know who it is. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to pass it on. Who wants to have a crack to the to the Reds? Mm. Um. I know, I know it's the, it's, no, nah, I don't know his name, yeah, but I know which character Will is the is. character's name, but uh, Simon Bird is the name of the, uh, the name of the actor. What is the name of the surreal comedy group Monty Python's first feature length film? Who was that one going Greens. upstairs? We're going to go with the Greens. Greens. Uh, the first film. First film. I'm thinking Life of Brian. Yeah, I think it was. Life first film was Life it of was Brian. It was not Life of Brian. Oh, Bad luck to the bar staff. Want to give it a crack? Um, yeah, it's um, the Holy Grail. It was not the Holy Grail. Oh. Oh. Their first feature-length film was actually and now for something completely different. Oh. A collection of their skits. Damn it. Which Adele song was recorded as the theme um. for the 23rd Bond film? Bars? Um, um, um. Uh, I what it was called. It was that. Um. It was called, um... Man, oh, oh shoot. It, it wasn't. It's on, very, very recent. Uh, We're going to have to go with the Greens. They're on the buses. It. Skyfall? It was Skyfall. Yes. The Greens were going to kill me if I didn't go to them. <laughs> Who is the longest serving British Prime Minister of the 20th century oh, and it? the only woman to have held office? Greens. Oh, Margaret, Margaret Thatcher. Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. Correcto mundo. In the London 2012 Summer Olympics opening ceremony, which song is played by the orchestra with the help of Mr Bean on a synthesizer? Oh, oh, I forgot. Greens. That, that, was the, that was the anthem. We're going to go with what, what's your answer? I, th I think it was the British anthem, I believe. It was not the British anthem. Oh. Over there, the bar staff. Oh, I was just going to say the British anthem, but I actually know what the British anthem is called, so it's okay. But uh, you, you would both be wrong. Yeah, we're both wrong. Give a shot. Was it that Muse song? That um, oh. survival? Yeah. Oh, unless Muse sang through. Chariots of Fire, then you're oh. incorrect, because oh. it was Chariots oh. of Fire. I should right. cover it. <laughs> what is the name of the singing competition that discovered One Direction? Mm -hmm. Reds. Uh, X Factor. It was the X Factor. And final question. Simon. To get this. <laughs> With uh, what is his name? James Cow. James Cow. <laughs> final question. Name the pop duo that that George Michael. Yes. Wham. Wham! Wham indeed. Uh, George Michael rose to fame, fame with Wham and uh, that's it for the end of the show. Wham. Let's see who our winners are down the bottom. Mm. Oh! We actually have... It's a tie! Oh, the Greens are on 21, the Bar Staff are on 21, the Reds are on 11, but who cares about them? Can we have, can we have a tiebreaker? Tiebreaker question? What do you reckon? Whoa! Ooh. This has oh. never happened. Oh, this has never happened before. Can we have a rock off? Can you have a rock off? Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with... No? <laughs> okay. We are going to go rock, with uh, who off. tweeted that. We're going to go with a who tweeted that for the tiebreaker. We're not going to rock off across the room. Immature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I let you guys get your heads out of the gutter. I was just meaning... You've had one too many, <laughs> one too many pineapples. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is for the victory. And you don't... Reds aren't even playing. Who, uh, correct. Who tweeted this? Murderers, stop murdering. Everyone will die eventually. Greens? Murderers, stop murdering. Everyone will die eventually. Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais. Not Ricky Gervais, unfortunately. So we're going to have to give it to the bar staff what? by default. Yeah. Oh, you buzz in and you get it wrong. What do you mean? That's, that's how a tiebreaker tie works. That would go. It was Russell Brand, so oh, the bar staff get a giant trophy, a giant glass, like they need one. Oh. 
thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Oh, she's going to kill me. <laughs> Please thank our guests, Caleb Lowry and Ron Fisher, our bar staff, Matthew and Veronica. Well done on the Big Ben. Excellent like Brisbane yeah. drink. And our wonderful team captains, Stephanie Everson Williams, who I'm going to have to <laughs> really pour some free drinks for later, and Joey Philpot. And thank you for joining us tonight. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Friday Night Drinks, and uh, youtube.com slash Friday Night Drinks. Twitter, FND underscore TV. And uh, please join us again next week. Uh, we've been to British, British land this week. We are going to America next week for an American-themed episode. Uh, I'll see you for drinks next week. My name's Ashley McPherson. Cheerio, chaps.